Hi, this web map is an online application to allow users to access, analyze, and visualize big climate data without downloading the data or configuring any software. Uh, this is the main interface of this web map, and uh, the functions include dynamic analysis, 2D, 3D visualization, and 4D visualization. Let's look at the dynamic analysis first. This function allows the user to select uh, different study areas and conduct virus analysis. Uh, let me demonstrate. First, let's select three different study areas, one in the US, and one in China, and the other one in Africa. And then we can select the precipitation as a variable and also select 10 year study period. And then for and then we can select the time uh, select the analysis type. Currently we have time series, seasonal mean, yearly mean, correlation, and telediagrams analysis. So first let's select time series. And after all the selection, we click submit. Then we get the the time series plot in the bottom, and at the same time, the, t uh, the submitted data, the subsetted data, also displayed on the map. Let's look at the Taylor diagram. So for the same three, three study areas, we just need to select the diagram here, and then click submit. Now we get the result for the Taylor diagram here. We can see each diagram for for each uh, study area. Now let's go to 3D visualization. And uh, this function allows users to compare different variables with, with, with multiple windows. We can specify the window numbers here, and now we select 4, and also and we need to select the variable that we want to compare. For example, precipitation, and then thermal, solar uh, radiation, and surface air temperature. And we select four variables here. So when we zoom in on one map window, we can see that all the other three windows are moving at the same time to give users a better comparison of different variables at different locations. If we want to switch to 3D window, we just need to click to the Google Earth button on the bottom. Then we get we can see that the same data are displaying on the 3D window now. And if you zoom in and all the four windows all four globe are moving at the same time. So this is for the 2D 3D visualization. Let's look at the 4D visualization by clicking this button. So this is the interface for the 4D visualization, and uh, this function allows the user to animate the 4D variables like the wind, the temperature, in a real 3D space. We can select the variable here, and also select the time series, uh, time period here, and also the elevation layers, and then we need to click start, and to view the animation for this variable in a real 3D space, and we can zoom in. to get a better view, or to get a detailed view of the animation, as we can see here. Okay, uh, that's all for the demonstration. Thank you.